Isonus and Milestone have joined forces to redefine the video and access control integration and have formed one powerful solution. This unique solution provides for a seamless integration using the existing Milestone architecture that you are already familiar with. The Isonus system uses the exact same infrastructure, proving additional benefits over traditional access control systems. Isonus is easier to install and operate. We are more flexible and scalable as a IP-based edge device. Overall, the system is less expensive and our technology is proven in the field. Our combined solution provides a seamless integration of the Milestone Expertech Smart Client and the Isonus Crystal Matrix software, providing a complete security solution with a consolidated command and control. The Milestone Expertech Client manages the software interface while the Isona system does the heavy lifting in the background. Now let's see how this all works within the Milestone Expertech client. With Expertech Access, you can link cameras to doors secured by access control. In this example, I have an access monitor pane showing me all the activity at the door. I can see the status of the door in the upper right corner. Red means that it's locked and closed. And at the bottom, I can take actions against the door, such as admitting access for a particular person or locking the door down. I can click on any of these events and it takes me immediately to that recorded time frame of that actual event. In each of these events, I have a magnifying glass that is associated with that person. When I click that, it will take me to the access control tab and immediately show me a report of all the activity by that person. We'll come back to the Access tab later in this video. Let's go back to the Live tab, and as we read cards and have activity in the system, you'll see it pop up within the pane. Here we have two new card reads by myself and by Erica Musterman. And if you notice, you would see the status of the door change to green, showing that it was admitting access to a person. Now let's take a look at a different type of view. We can also utilize the map functionality in Expertech to see the status of all the doors in our facility. Right clicking on any of these doors gives us the same commands that we had before in the last view. The door icon will change states, showing the actual state of the door. Security has just been notified that Erica has been terminated. We can remove her access through Xprotect. Click on Erica's event. Click on the search. Then we can choose any of these events here, it doesn't matter. Down here we have a link called Manage Card Holder. We'll click on that and it will automatically bring up the Isonus Easy Web Client. From here, all we have to do is remove Erica from any groups that she's associated with. Removing her from the group will remove her access. Now we'll go back to the Milestone Expertech Client. Go back to our live view. Erica's card has now been rejected. We can see that her card was rejected, it was not valid, and we get a notification within Milestone here. We'll go ahead and close this out. Unfortunately, there was a mistake, and it was a different Erica within the system that was terminated. Let's go ahead and turn her card back on. Again, we'll click on Erica. We'll click on the search to bring up any event activity from her name. Click on an event. Go back to Manage Card Holder again. And now we'll just simply put Erica back in her group. Go back to our Expertech client. Go back to our live view. And now we can see that Erica has valid access again. Very quickly, we are able to modify access on the fly as needed. Let's go ahead and take a look at our access control tab now. Let's clear Erica from the filter, and now we see all of our events. Clicking on any of these events will take you back to the point in time of the video for that event, and you can easily scroll back and forth before and after the event. Right clicking on any cell will allow you to filter on that cell. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at all of Anders' activity. So we right click and say filter using this value. We can see that his name is pre-populated in there and we can see all of the events from Anders Anderson. Furthermore, if we needed to put this into an access report, we could easily click access report. Give the report a name, set a destination for it to save to, and go ahead and click create. We can see up here the report has been completed. We can go ahead and click details and actually open this report. This is a report of all of Anders' activity and a snapshot of the time frame that the event happened. Clicking on the doors link will show us all of the doors within our system. If we click on a door, it will show us live video for that door and allow us to manipulate the status. For example, we could admit access through the door. Clicking on the card holders will show us all of the card holders within the system. So if I click on Erica, I can again manage that card holder, which will bring us into the Isonus Easy Web interface. And I can view card holder events, which will just run a report based on a filter for Erica's name. This concludes our short demonstration of the powerful integration solution between Milestone and Isonus, providing a single view for all your security needs. Thank you for taking the time to watch.